went to Starbucks, and I think she has a crush on me. I can tell she has a crush on me. That's too big to ignore. She comes in here every morning at exactly 8.11. When the clock says 8.11, she comes walking through the door. Then one fateful Monday morning, as she made her usual entrance, I could tell that she was nervous and she had something to say. So I smoothly flipped the lever to prepare her double latte. And she said her name was Carol. And I came back with, hey. And her name was Taylor. And here's a little extra phone. As she left, I cleaned her table. And I found a folded napkin with this phone. <laughs> Taylor, the latte boy, bring me Java, bring me joy. Oh, Taylor, the latte boy, I love him, I love him, I love him. <laughs> so I should have got my nerve up and just said I wasn't interested, but since she was clearly interested, it all got out of hand. Just before I found her poem, we had had this conversation. I told her I was playing in the village with my band. When I walked in Friday evening to our gig in Arthur's basement, I saw Carol in the front row, and I heard her scream my name. And then my friend said, man, she's crazy. She's been here since 7.30. And she told me she your girlfriend. She's really glad she came. So, yeah. I'm sorry. And then when our kid's <laughs> over, she followed me the whole way home. <laughs> As I ran to try and lose her, I composed another version of her poem. Oh my God. <laughs> Carol, the stalker chick, <laughs> you're a psycho and you're sick and so Carol, the stalker chick, you scare me, you scare me, you scare me. <laughs> I used to be But now I've got this lunatic free in my life. Every night now at my window she's shouting.